Hello all. Today I'll talk about how to restore an Oracle 19C database from ASM to file system or convert an ASM database to a non-ASM database. You have a ASM database hosted on one server and on the other server you want to restore this particular database but you do not have ASM. So how do you restore an ASM database to the file system? So I have this ORA 19A database. Using this particular queries, you will see that everything, the radio logs, the data files, the time file, and the control file is in ASM. We'll create an P file and we'll transfer this to the targeted server. Then what we'll be doing is setting some RMAN parameters. These are optional. You can configure them or you can leave them. If the database is in the archive log, you have to start the database in uh, no archive log. You have to start the database in mount mode and take the backup. In my case, the database is in archive log mode, which means I will be taking the database backup in the read write or in the open mode. Open mode is read write. I'll be taking the incremental level zero backup. Once the backup is completed, we'll be transferring the init file, init ORA file, and we'll be transferring the backup to the target server. Our work on the source server is done. The first server is done and we can move to the server to the target server. On the target server, we'll be adding an entry in etc or our tab. We'll be adding an entry for the database to be restored. Then we'll verify that we have received the init file. We have received the backup file. We'll verify that. We'll create some directories for the backup, for the uh, for where the database is going to be restored, for the audit dash and for the trace and the dump files. Then what we'll be doing is we'll be modifying one location, only one parameter in the init or the control file. Control file in the original database will point to ASM. We do not have ASM, so I'll modify the control file location to the non-ASM or the disk location. This is the only change that we are going to do the, in the init or file. Then what we are going to do is like we are going to start the database in mount mo no mount mode. Then we are going to restore the control file. Make sure you change these particular values based on your environment or your backup. Uh, names will start once the kernel file is restored. We'll start the database in mount mode. Then we'll allocate the channels, rename the data, uh, set the new name for temp file, data file, etc. Restore the database, rename the redo logs, switch the data file, switch the temp files, recover the database, and open the reset logs. If this run blocks works perfectly, then our database will be restored. If this run blocks has some problems, then we have to debug them as we go along. And finally, we'll run this particular query to show that everything is now in the this is not in the ASM. So let's, without wasting time, let me connect to the putty session and uh, and let's, okay. So this is my node one. So I connected to the node one. PS minus EF, grab PMON. So let's see the database that we have, Aura 19A. So that's in ASM. So now let me connect to that particular database. So that's SQL plus SSDBA. So I'm connecting to the database. So that's done, verify the database mode right now it's in the read write mode v verify that all our files so you, as you can see the log file redo logs in asm the data files in asm the time file is in asm and the control file is also in the asm so that's done then we'll be connecting to the rman session and setting some of the parameters clear the screen rman target i'm setting some parameters our main parameters. So let me set those particular parameters. The database is open right now and I'm setting some our main parameters. So that's done. The next thing that we'll be doing is we'll be taking the backup in incremental level zero. So we'll be taking an incremental backup. The backup has already started. So let's, the backup is going to take some time. So let's wait for the backup to complete. While the backup is happening, I'll pause the video and come back when the backup is complete. As you can see, the backup is completed. So let's verify that we have our backup in this particular location. And yes, we have a backup. So that looks good. So we have our backup. And now, so only two things that we have done, we have created a P file and we have taken the backup. Apart from that, we have not done anything on the source server. So let's, it's time to, transfer our p file to the destination server or the target server so this is the file that we have generated so let's transfer that particular file to our destination server so i'm doing that so that's done and we need to make sure that we also transfer the backup files that we have taken this is these are the backup files i'm transferring them to the destination or the target server okay 
So looks like this particular directory doesn't exist on node 2. So let me go to that node 2, make directory or the destination server. So that's done. Exit and do the SCP once again. So I'm transferring my backup files. So once the backup files are transferred, our work on the source server is done. So I'm going to exit from the source server and connect to the target server. On the target server, what we need to do is first we'll edit the etc or our type file to add an entry for the database that we are going to create. So let me do that. add an entry for aura 19a in the target server so that's done verify that we have received our p file so let me verify that we have received our p file and looks like we have received our p file so that's good verify that we have received our backup files so that's good we have received our backup files we'll create some of the directories i've already done this this is the directory that's failed so now we will create these directories on the target server so that's done we have created all the directories now we'll connect to the our database before connecting what we need to do is we need to edit one particular parameter so let me go to the oracle home dbs location ls minus l we have to edit only one particular parameter in this particular file and that is the control file location so let me do that The control file location currently in the it points to asm we are going to point it to the disk so that's done let's verify that the control file location is indeed change so as you can see previously it was on asm i have committed it out and now it's pointing to the disk the next thing is the final run block so first thing that we need to make sure that this particular control file location the control file location that we need to whatever files that we have re received from this source so this is the control file i'll change it in the run block and now i'm going to connect as rman and run this run block so rman target before doing that let's verify that i'm really connected to aura 19a rman target and so not started so i'm going to start the database in the no mount mode using the p file so let me connect to another session ps minus ef let's see if my database is started p mount yes looks like the database is started let's see where we step it is now uh, so the database is started is let's see oracle initial started the next thing that it's going to do is restore the control file so it's going to restore the control file so let's see okay so restoring control file. So let's go to that particular location cd slash dbe slash aura data slash aura 19a ls minus l and okay, this is the backup location, not this. So cd dbd slash aura data aura 19a ls minus l and as you can see around 255 the control file is restored. So that looks good. The control file is restored and now it's actually going to start restoring the actual data files so let's wait is searching for all the files no files catalog so it's going to do some kind of cross check and all of that in the recovery area to make sure it is not missing anything once it is done it's going to start the restore so let's wait for the restore to start and then the restore is going to take some time so i'll pause the video and come back when the restore is completed so let's give it a minute I'll just I'm just waiting for the uh, okay so the restore has started so the ls minus l as you can see the all the files have started appearing so the restore as I mentioned before the restore is going to take some time so while the restore is happening I'll pause the video and come back when the restore is about to finish as you can see the restore is completed the, the restore is completed and now it's rename it then it renamed the redo logs so that's done then it is switching the data files so if okay the restore is completed then it renamed the redo logs 
then it's switching the data file, then it will switch the temp file, and then it will do the recover database. And once the recover database is going to open the database in reset log. So let's see. Okay, so looks like we have an issue and it's looking for an archive log. So that, okay, so let it is looking for an additional archive log. So what we will do, okay, we will go back to our source server and try to take another archive log backup. So let's do that. So let me connect this is node 2 or target 2 so let me connect to the node 1 or the db1 and set the environmental variable aura env aura 19a armen target okay so i'm okay and i've connected to the database i'll do backup archive log all so i'm going to take a backup of archive log once the backup of archive log is completed, I'm going to transfer the archive log to the destination server. So this is where the backup of archive log. So this is, let me, okay. So the backup is completed. So now exit, go to that particular location, ls minus l. So this is the archive log backup 302 just now that we took. So I'm going to SCP this particular archive log. So SCP this particular file to db2 okay so i'm i have transferred the archive log to the to the standby or target server not standby target server i'll exit now what i'll do is i'll connect and i will say catalog Start with, I'll give the location and I'll say no prompt. So I'm cataloging the files and it, I guess it has cataloged this particular file. So that's fine. So now what we will do is we will try to do the recover database and let's see okay so it, it is recovering the archive log so and still it is looking for this so let's now connect to our database and try to open the database in reset logs modes if let's see if it gets successful So I'm trying, I do not know whether it will work, but let's see if it works, then our restore is successful. And if the database is open, then what we are going to verify is where are our files. So first I will check which mode the database is in. So let's let it open. So that's done. So, okay. So the database is open. So, and it is in rewrite mode. So looks like the restore is successful. Now we have to verify that all it's everything is in the file system. So that's that's what we were planning to do. So and as you can see, the redo logs is in disk, the data files is in the disk, the temp files is in the disk, and the control file is in the disk. If I run the same query on the source system, so clear. SQL plus Aura ENV, the Aura 19A database, SQL plus as SysDBA. And if I run the same thing on the source, you can see that everything on the source server was, was in the ASM and now it's in the disk. So we have successfully restored our database from ASM to non ASM. So the most important part here is setting the new names. This is the most important part. The next thing is the renaming the redo logs. So this is the second part. And then you have to do the switch data file and switch temp file. And if the recover database fails, then you might need additional archive logs that you can get from the source server. In this particular tutorial, we learned how to convert an Oracle database 19C from ASM to non-ASM. I hope you like this particular tutorial. If you did like this particular tutorial, do subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.